In this video, I'll show you how to completely disassemble a stair at number 216. If you just want to recalibrate the micrometer, you do have to disassemble it pretty far to be able to do that. So if you close it and it doesn't go to zero right here, it's not as simple as just re-spinning your scale and calibrating it. You actually have to disassemble the caliper a pretty good amount and then you gotta move the gear around because you gotta get the ratio correct in order for it to go zero, zero. On the back thimble here, you gotta take out that little black screw and I just took this screwdriver and ground it down so it's a little thinner and it fits in there. This sleeve here just pulls off. Sometimes it takes a good amount of force. This black piece here gave me a lot of trouble to get it out. At first, I didn't even think there was threads holding it in, it was so stuck. What I actually ended up having to do was take a pipe wrench and twist this out. So this black piece right here is threaded into the frame of the micrometer. So once I unscrew this, now it's really easy that I've broken it loose. This whole piece just comes out. So I did have to use the pipe wrench, it gouged it up a little bit, but that's not really a problem. I just cleaned all the burrs off with a file and this still slides on just fine. Now this part right here is what's called the drive gear. And I just got this as a replacement part from Sterrett because I got this micrometer whenever it was broken and it was some teeth on this gear that were bent out of shape. And originally this gear was made out of plastic which I was a little disappointed to see because this was a stare at 216 and I would have expected them to have something a little bit more high quality than plastic. But the replacement part they sent was brass, so it looks like they learned from that first mistake and this is gonna last a lot longer. Here's the old broken drive gear and you can see there's the broken tooth. Just slide out the whole spindle. Now the drive screw is able to move up and down but it can't spin back and forth and that's because it's held in by that little screw right there, so we need to remove that. Just slides right off. The counter here is just held in by two screws on each side. And on the back, there's just this plastic piece that I'm also gonna remove. There we go. And that's how you completely disassemble a stare at number 216. Once you know how everything comes apart, it really doesn't seem that complicated.